Hello friends and dear subscribers of 365 Basics. This is the moment when I want to share with you something which I believe is going to help you, especially uh, those who are living in this time and we are aware that we are living in the end times and things are happening. Today I, wish, oh, I want to share with you something that is, uh, is a little bit strange but it needs to keep us awake and know that we need to stand in these times. This We are living in the end times and actually we don't know what is going to happen a few years from today. We don't know how things are going to be. If now we see wars, listen to what Putin says. Like, uh, there is Putin warns of really nuclear war risk. And he's warning with this one that if, uh, if the, the issue uh, or the conflict between uh, Russia and, uh, and Ukraine uh, keeps going on, uh, Putin has warned NATO or the world like they have to get prepared. Something strange concerning the use of uh, nuclear weapons may happen. So actually we need to get uh, aware of what is going to happen. Jesus Christ warned us in the book of Matthew. Uh, it's Matthew 24 verse 7 where the Bible says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay. Verse 6 says, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. The problem of wars is this one. We may start this prophecy as if it is happening to another universe. No, it's happening in our own earth. So all these signs are going to sweep people, are going to affect people. So we don't have to start them and say, yes, there will be wars. But you know, uh, we don't know where are those wars going to happen. We don't know the safety you have in your country. How long will it uh, persist to be there? Because it takes a time for those things to happen. Because the Bible has warned us at the end time events, we need to be willing to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. Because he knows how uh, you're going to keep living in that country. Uh, uh, and actually he knows when the, the wars can happen. Because all the plans are laid down. They follow the system. They, are, they follow their guidelines. They have the vision in which they have been given by the devil himself. Because the devil can give them the information. You have to do this, you have to do this. How does that happen? Actually, the, some of the things are initiated by demons themselves. Like fight, hunger, and this. You just have to do it. Because in the execution of those planned uh, deals, uh, which is done by nations, good nations, and rich men, not all execution depends on their systems. Some they uh, comes from the execution of their demons because they can push people to decide uh, without thinking. So I want to encourage you because we are living then times. And something else we see like uh, the country like Poland uh, is in buying those defense systems, okay, from U.S. from U.S. and uh, North Korea. So it has, uh, countries now are buying uh, military defense system because they don't know what is going to happen. So this tells us that the, the nations are in shock. They don't know anything can happen from anywhere. That's where the world is now. And the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 24 is just clear that the world is just like, it's like, just like a drunk. It moves, it's swinging like Nobody can keep it safe. Now, who is trying to save the world? No. Everyone is trying to make sure he keeps himself peaceful and in security. So uh, we are being run to the, to the direction where it will be difficult for us to survive. But Jesus warned us. What do we need to do as Christians on all these things? They don't have to move us to be in fear. Yes, we don't have to be in fear because we are, we are going to act without 
thinking unreasonably. So we need to calm down. Myself, I read sometimes of the things and see what is happening, but it does move me in matter of act on this, act on this, we have to think. And not only thinking, we have to pray. Why do we need to pray in these end times and to pray more than how it used to be? It's because we need the Holy Spirit. Nowadays, the church seems like it's sleeping, but people, human, people's humanity is just like going down. And anyone, anytime can just kill you. And uh, it, it, the world is increasing in sin rather than decreasing. It's better today uh, than uh, tomorrow. Okay, it's better today than tomorrow. So because tomorrow is going to be better, it's going to be bad. So we say, I wish other the bad times, the, the previous times could have come again. The time when people were loving each other, were living in their societies. Uh, there was uh, there were literal rumors of wars, just a few in countries, but now we see almost everywhere. And this is just the beginning. So we have to get prepared. If the use of nuclear war will come, yes, it may come. But when it comes, what will you do? Just think, if it comes, what will you do? Sometimes you may speak things like, okay, you know I'll run and this one, but things, if they happen in your country, my friend, it's worse. When you have to leave everything and run, save your own life. That's what is happening in Gaza. That's what is happening in Ukraine. And that's what was happening But the moment when the wars started. Who thought that the war between Russia and Ukraine could take so long time like now? Nobody. We thought it was just going to end very soon. But it kept, it kept, it kept moving. What about Gaza? Things are keep keeping moving. But there are wars which ended, yes. Not all wars which started are still going on, no. Some have stopped, but some are keeping going on because the world has to be a body place so that people can choose to design things which are not reasonably clear. So we need to understand this. My friend, I just want to, to encourage you to, to know that we are living we are living in the in the world which is bad uh, we see that uh, the wars are going on and uh, people are killed and so we find that it needs prayer it needs us to move forward in prayer that's where our battle, our stronghold is on our knees. You know, the world as it keeps going on, but the things that we don't see, the financial crisis is coming. It's a really financial crisis. It is coming. Because all these things which are happening, they just want to, to put the world into the angle where it will be difficult to rescue itself. And so the pushing here and there, when you need to make a person become your victim, and you need to push here and there to make sure that he's in the middle side where you can tell him, just lies up, sleep, do this. And because whenever he looks, there's no safety, there's no security, there's no group hall for him to run. Because that's where the leaders of the world are putting us to the place where you will be following only what they say. If they say sleep, you sleep. If they say stand, you stand. If they say down, you go down. Then say kneel, you kneel. When they say jump, you jump. When they say this, because there is no any place you can learn. When in the military things, they have overcome you. When it comes to financial crisis, they have you. When they go to health system, they have you. What do you do? So that's what we need to prepare myself, ourselves, and get ready uh, for what is going to happen. 
So my friend, for example, let me tell you this. For example, the Russian government has introduced a ban on petrol export from tomorrow to August 31. So what do you expect on this? The government has taken measures to maintain a stable social in the fuel market during the spring of feed work. It is clear that the export ban does not apply to fuel exported to provide international internal assistance in the area for the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My friend, I don't want to read everything about this because actually it may not help you much. But I want you to, to know that we need to get prepared for what is happening and if what is going to happen. I just, I'll be letting you know those things which are happening to help you at least to know what is happening and what you need to keep motivated to move forward. Keep working. This is not the moment when you need to give up working. We need to keep working because the devil is, is working also hard. So we need also to keep working hard. There's no moment we need to give him a breath. Let us keep working. Let us keep doing evangelism. Keep opening churches planting churches, uh, sharing the gospel, distributing books. Let us keep doing the work until when the Lord comes. So this is our, 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 to be my, our motivation. May God bless you as we keep on. In Jesus' name, amen.